Paige is your NXT Women's Champion. So, here we go. We'll start this tournament off. Oh, oh, I know what I didn't do. Uh, Derek, come on now. Alright, we're gonna have an outdated, um... We're gonna have an outdated paint, but that's okay. It's okay. We'll we'll do this first match, and then we'll, we'll get to it. The following contest is a It'll be okay. First round match, making her way to the ring. A little bit hasty starting this one, but we're three tournaments deep, man. That's what happens. We've never ever done three tournaments. We've only ever done, I think, two in one night, and that was fucking crazy. So, um doing three and still being like my voice is still here Ooh, that's a good sound Tayway no way welcome to the show uh, I think you're new so welcome uh, third follower tonight thank you I appreciate that and uh, welcome to the show um, this is a very complicated structure so you'll just kind of have to hang out and you know see what we're doing here I'm doing pretty good what about yourself uh, I, I mean, I was just explaining that I've never done three Teemo tournaments in one night. Uh, my voice is usually trashed after one. Um, so I've been constantly drinking to, you know, keep my vocal cords from blowing out. I mean, we're running on three and a half, three hours, 45 minutes of straight commentary of WWE content, which is pretty intense. When I get into my commentary voice, it's kind of wild. Peyton Royce taking on, uh, see, I'm even forgetting now. Who, who are we face? Who are we facing? Sasha Banks, that's right. You can tell, this is my fourth tournament of the night. It's fucking crazy. But other than that, I'm doing really, really good. Excellent. In fact, So I was low on views, wanted to help out, make me noticeable. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, actually, this is a, a brand new channel. Um, I didn't want to be a Twitch affiliate anymore, so I had to end my um, other channel because that's the one that I do have a, an affiliate contract with. Um, because if ever T-Mode, which is what this is, gets big, I want full control over it. I don't want all those rights going to Twitch. Um, you know, you look at the terms of service of Twitch... There's a lot of bad things about being an affiliate. Things that I don't like. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna shop. I'm gonna shop around. So this is our first night streaming. So I appreciate you helping me out. It's it's it is useful. Thank you. I have not watched WWE programming in two weeks because I don't know. WWE just makes me upset. I've been following it though, and I will watch Survivor Series tomorrow. We'll see if they can hold my attention. Sasha Banks, Peyton Royce, two excellent superstars. Haven't done very much here in team mode, though. We'll see if they can change that. Starting off really even, man. Half down in the green health bar. Neck breaker, Peyton Royce dropping Sasha Banks. But it's still an even matchup. It's still really, really close. We are looking to set up a women's Survivor Series matchup. And if no beef happens in this tournament, if no crazy shenanigans happen, then uh, we will likely just pick from the pool of people who have already selected superstars in Season 2. And uh, we'll just have a randomized Survivor Series matchup. Survivor Series matches are going to be really interesting tomorrow. Uh, you get fantasy points for every elimination. You get a fantasy point for being a sole survivor of the match. So the Survivor Series matches tomorrow night are going to be really, really interesting to watch, especially with how close our uh, with with how close we are. Um, up at the top, we have Linger and Meet Meet, both at 14 fantasy points each. Uh, and they have Edge and Roman Reigns, respectively. And they are going against each other in a Survivor Series match. Team Roman versus Team Edge. 
they're both world champions on different brands. It's it's pretty awesome. It's pretty freaking dope. It's been the best storyline of the season. It's been the best storyline, I think, of all, my entire career since 2012. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're doing things. We're doing things. It's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait for tomorrow. Pretty excited. End of season. Big pay-per-view. Season 3. We're going to end with the Royal Rumble. It's... It's a, it's a good year. It's a good time of year. You know, we're building up to the end of the seasons of WWE or wrestling in general. Big things popping, little things stopping, as MVP would say. We've had two title changes here tonight in team mode tournaments. We've had multiple title opportunities earned and title matches booked for Survivor Series. Survivor Series teams have been uh, padded out with superstars. It's been an overwhelmingly great debut on this new Twitch channel here tonight. A few, a few people from the other channel know how to read and, and came and showed their support, followed. We got Tay Tay, uh, Tay Wei, not Tay Tay, Tay Wei uh, coming in the chat, helping us out as well. It's been a very, very good night as we continue on in this game mode. And if we still have time before four, because I wanna I want my heart out to be four, it's almost two now. We got about two more hours. If if we can finish this tournament in time, we'll play a little bit of a uh, Valhalla, I think. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As we grind to finish that game. It might be my game of the year. It really depends on Cyberpunk 2077. But uh I've spent a lot of time in Valhalla. Really good game. Oh. Three. Her Karana takes down Peyton Royce. Four. I think with the new setup, uh, once I can figure out how to live stream also to Facebook as well as YouTube, I want to do a playthrough of Catherine. Six. It's a game I've never played. But I hear it's excellent. Hades is a game that's getting a lot of like steam, and that be that might be something that I play. I think it's a dungeon crawler, which is something I've never really excelled at, but be interesting. First matchup of the final tournament of the night in this first round. Peyton Royce. Pretty beat up, but she does have a run in special ability. Sasha Banks has the resiliency special ability. Peyton Royce has her signature move, and she's going to hit it here. Taking down Sasha Banks, going for the pin. Is this enough to take the win, though? One, two. It's a kick out. Sasha Banks does have a comeback. Yikes. Oh, look at this. I forget the name of this move. Maybe I'll remember it. I call it the final cut. I forget what they name it, though. The final cut, Peyton Royce takes down Sasha. One, two, resiliency. Sasha Banks still in it. Sasha Banks has to be really... Oh, 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 oh. It looks like we might have enough beef for a women's Survivor Series match. Remember, we have Charlotte and Ember Moon who have some beef from earlier tonight. And now it looks like Lacey Evans, such a classy lady, going after Peyton Royce and they're battling. Oh, don't go this way. Uh-oh. Oh. Big distraction here. Peyton Royce not happy about it. Peyton Royce and... Lacey Evans have some beef. I'm going to write that one down. All right, Charlotte and Bermoon. We got Peyton. Did I miss it? Oh, Sasha Banks got her finisher. And Lacey. Okay. All right, so I think that's enough. That sound, that's a good sound. It sounds like 
the Animus. I'm thinking of Valhalla. Sounds like the Animus, but we do have another follower. It's Leon! Leon! You, you found us! Leon, welcome! Welcome! Oh, and here comes the other half of the Iconics. Yes, there's still a team here in this universe mode. Oh, Billy Kay's gonna help her teammate. Takes her down. It's interesting. Lacey Evans and Peyton Royce were kind of mushed together by WWE on Monday Night Raw as this weird, odd couple team. And now they're having issues here in my team mode. Team mode provides. And look at this. Billy Kay coming back, taking down Sasha Banks. Both these women are down and out. They're plastered flat on the ring. They both have signatures. They both get back to their feet simultaneously. Sasha Banks. Looking for bankrupt. Takes down Peyton Royce. This could be it. One for the pin and the win. One. Two. Three. It's done. Sasha Banks wins. I think. I mean, it just makes sense. We get Billy Kay. And Sasha on opposite sides here. Because there's more beef happening in this women's division. This is what I was hoping for, honestly. I was hoping for this so that we could build out another Survivor Series um, matchup. I wanted to do a ladies Survivor Series matchup. All right, and we move on. Uh, Becky Lynch, Tamina, here we go. Oh, oh shit, God damn it, Derek. Why'd you forget to do it again? How was my week? My week was pretty good. Um, Leon, by the way, is another uh, one of my followers on the other channel. My week was pretty solid um i i work in education so i work in a school so it's it's like war, it's like a war <laughs> it's like a war zone um so you know taking that for granted yeah, yeah. It, it was a pretty crazy week but it was a good week so. we didn't get shut down yet smackdown women's champ come on the man comes around. Uh, Becky Lynch, man, upsetting and taking away the SmackDown Women's Championship. After being the Raw Women's Champion for so long in Universe Mode, or in our team mode. You gotta think, hey, if I'm Becky Lynch, right? Who, who is she? Is she a team, she team leader? Becky Lynch team leader? I think she is. She is. This could be another big night for Linger, earning points. Oh, man. Ooh, interesting. Does anyone have Brie? Nobody at the top. I mean, there's a few people who have some women out there, but... Ain't nobody got Tamina. I, I, I used to hate Tamina. Now I love Tamina. Now I like her. I don't, I don't know what that was. Maybe it was... Me drawing her in the Royal Rumble when we did our Royal Rumble a couple years ago. Tamina taking on the man Becky Lynch. This is going to be an interesting first round match. I, again, I forgot to do the um, the picture thing. So below you can see this, this tournament structure. We had earlier tonight Rowan winning a tournament. Um... This, that's what we're doing now for these women, but I have forgotten twice now to update this, so give me a minute and I'll fix that. Ooh, that was not a clean break, and Tamina's going to take advantage, and why not? I mean, you're going up against a Teemo champion, Becky Lynch. You're going up against... A Teemo champion in the first round. If you get a win over a Teemo champion in the first round of a tournament, you get a title opportunity. Tamina's looking for a title opportunity. Headbutts here from Tamina. Taunting. Big shot. Becky Lynch reverses. In she comes. Member of Team Linger. Linger and Meet Me both tied at 14 fantasy points. Right now, as it stands, Becky Lynch wins this tournament tonight. He will take the lead by one point. If he wins the title and the tournament tonight, he will take the lead by two points. Ooh. 
shot across the back. Becky Lynch doing a great job. Like I mean, like we always say, these tournaments, they're a marathon. They start slow and they end really quick. It's progressive. It's uh it's it's exponential how these tournaments go. Think of a roller coaster, right? Start really slow. When you get to the apex, it's gone and it's off to the races. That is exactly how our team of tournaments go. And shit gets crazy. Rivalries are made. Friendships are broken. Look at these. Leg traps by Becky Lynch. And she has already had a signature move. Wow. Exploder suplex. And Tamina is down. She's not out. Is Becky Lynch going to go straight for the pin? She might. Yes. Going for the pin. Here it is. One. Two. Kick out. Tamina holds on. She's got to get back to her feet quickly. Oh, big chop. Big opportunity here for Tamina, though. Tamina could earn herself a SmackDown Women's Team Mode Championship opportunity. Again, like I said, uh, four followers tonight, which is awesome. Three of them are uh, people from the other channel. Thank God. Uh, I was hoping. I was hoping because a lot of people didn't follow me on Twitter. I was telling you, please follow me on Twitter just in case. Uh, so th th this is where we're at. We're, we're here. We're, we're live on this channel. The channel is going well on night number one. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, some new everything. Everything's nice and new. It's like a shiny new car. Becky Lynch has a finisher. Tamina at 55%. 59%. She's still working. And what's interesting is that Becky Lynch does not have a resiliency. So if Tamina has the opportunity to get to a signature and a finisher, she absolutely has a choice and a chance to win. Becky Lynch, though, going for the disarm her. She's got it. Is Tamina going to tap? Is she going to tap? Oh, it's uncomfortable. Oh, it's uncomfortable. I think she's going to hold on. She's going to hold on. She does. Wow. Becky Lynch going off the rope. She's going to go for these leg drops. Very effective. I am proud of my voice tonight for not giving out. For not giving up. I'm sure it'll be gone by tomorrow, but <laughs> we have 24 hours before we go live on this channel again, folks. Tamina, big clothesline, 71% now. She does. I think she's a long shot, right? I don't think she's beating Becky Lynch. But she can absolutely get really, really close. And it's almost like a, a, a sparring session, right? When you're not the guy training for the big title fight. It's a good opportunity to spar with the best. And right now, Becky Lynch in this match is the best. It's a good opportunity for Tamina to prove to herself that she's getting better. But again, I don't think it's happening. Becky Lynch has two finishers. She's at 85%. Then again, anything can happen. Anyone can come and interfere, interrupt. T mode provides. Go for a backbreaker. Oh! Tamina picking up Becky Lynch. Big reversal here. Becky Lynch has a signature. She can hit it. Exploder suplex, yes. Exploder suplex, and down it goes Tamina. And she's not... Oh my god, she could have gone for the pin there. Becky Lynch knows better. Becky Lynch is going for a finisher. Drops her down. Going for the Becky Lynch rock bottom. Going for the pin, and the win. Is this enough? One, two, three. Becky Lynch wins. And Becky Lynch will move on. She will be facing... Uh, Sasha Banks in the next round. Interesting. 
That's going to be a hell of a matchup. Defending her first round prowess. And now we have to actually take a picture. We have to take a screenshot so that we can get this picture below me uh, fixed before we start the next match. Got a little hasty in starting this tournament. Uh, so let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Why not, huh? Why not? Uh, Alright, there we go. That should be good. Let me quickly uh, edit this thing, and then we will be off to the races again. And we're going to open this up. I mean, I guess I could show you how I do this. Let me, let me show you guys how I do this, actually. Just in case people have forgotten or people who are new here don't know, this is how I do this, okay? So what I do is I take a nice, beautiful screenshot, right? Pretty screenshot. There's our, our, our standings, and here is our lineup, okay? You guys can see this. Okay, good. Oh, whoops. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to outline the stuff that I want and keep it a little bit thicker. We're going to zoom out. Sorry, we're going to do that again. Outline what I want. Keep it a little bit thicker just to, you know, we don't need we don't need to get crazy. Right? We don't need to get crazy. We're going to drag that some bitch all the way, kind of like a printer. And we're going to crop like that. I'm going to crop all the way this way as well. We'll zoom back in so that we can get a little bit of a better look at this. Just like that. And we're going to save that. Drag it back over here so that I can constantly see it. And we're just going to change this pick here to the new one. Boom. There it is. All right. Now, I'm going to go back into the game capture. Can you see how fast that was? And then I'm just going to add the red because that's what we do here. Our next matchup, China, Sonia, DeVille. Here we go. That was pretty quick. That was like, what, a minute? Oh, man, I think that's the fastest I've ever done that. Uh, let's do it. China versus Sonia DeVille. This is actually a pretty interesting matchup. Sonia DeVille is one of my favorite superstars to watch in this video game. She is making her debut in Season 2 tonight. Let's see if she can get the job done against the ninth wonder of the world. China. 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 Coming out with the pyro, man. In this tiny little arena. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. The following contest is a championship first round match. Making her way to the ring, the ninth winter of the world, China. China. Making her way down to the ring. Now, she has been a, a dominant force in WWE history, but in team mode, not so much. China has failed to really gain any traction in Teemo. With how dominant she is in the ring, um, it's a little bit surprising. It's a little bit of a, a shock. We'll see if she can change that momentum here in this first round matchup. Maybe, maybe not. Sup? Uh, oh boy. Alright, if I get this right the first time... Uh, bonus points for me. Orachimaru666. Welcome to the show. Sonya Deville makes her way down the lane. Shimon, New Jersey. Sonya Deville. Deville making her way down to the ring. She is making her debut for season two of T Mode. Will she be able to knock off China, the ninth wonder of the world? And move on to the second round. Um, at the end of this road, you're looking at Brie Bella. No, I'm sorry. You're looking at Paige. My bad. I'm still thinking about tomorrow's tournament. You're still looking at Paige, right? Paige is waiting 
for one of these superstars in this tournament. At the end of the tournament, they challenge Paige for the title under T-Mode rules. Will Paige lose her title or will she defend it? We've had two title drops, two title changes in our tournaments so far tonight. And one title defense by Daniel Bryan. John Moxley losing his WWE Teemo Championship to Edge. And Charlotte winning the Women's Teemo Championship of Monday Night Raw from Trish Stratus. Daniel Bryan defended successfully against Rowan. And here we are in the final tournament of the night. We will be having two more tournaments tomorrow and our Survivor Series pay-per-view to end our season of T-Mode. And a new follower. Ooh, close, very close, but no. Is this interactive or just matches? What happens here? Okay, so it's a bit of a blend between Universe Mode, right, which is a very storytelling-esque type of mode, and uh, interactive. But I don't call it interactive because nobody really gets a choice. We just let the mode do whatever. Uh, so I call it fantasy. The reason it's fantasy is uh, followers will, at season starting in season three, get four picks, superstars that they can pick, right? Um, and you just hope that they get picked. Everything is random. All of the tournament modes are random. The only things that I book are story-based matches, all right? So earlier tonight, we had Lacey Evans interfere in a matchup against Peyton Royce, so Lacey Evans and Peyton Royce are both going to be in a Survivor Series match, and then of course Sasha Banks and Billy Kay had beef as well, so we're going to put them in that matchup as well, right? So we follow along with WWE programming, and we book our own stuff. Uh, but almost everything is set up randomly, and the reason we call it T-Mode is because it's all based in the building block of the eight-person tournament uh, mode of play now in 2k20 so that's what we're doing here that's the basics of it it's very in-depth it's very complicated the point structures and everything is pretty um, intense uh, you're always welcome to go to profit god youtube go to youtube and just look up profit god i think it's in the about if you go down below go to the about and follow all my uh social media but go to youtube and watch a few of the t-mode episodes that i have up already and maybe you can kind of like start to go oh okay i get it it's a very difficult complicated thing to grasp but once you get it i mean it's fun as hell man it's fun as hell it's the favorite my favorite thing i've ever done i've done a lot of i've done universe mode since 2012 i did interactive mode for the past two or three years on twitch um this is by large my favorite mode it's excellent uh and speaking of like if you want to get involved right i mean i i don't even care if like you're here and then you dip off the face of the earth it happens a lot that's totally fine because every season we uh make everybody go free agents again right so if i'm a superstar and i choose china at the end of the season, unless I have an exemption token to use on China to keep her with me, right? She goes back to free agency, new season, everybody gets to choose new superstars, um, It's except for a few exemptions. And uh, that season finale is tomorrow, and we begin our uh, season next week. Now, I want to do a Thanksgiving special to start off season three, so I'm not sure that we'll do one on Monday night. But it will be sometime next week, and it will be to set up the new season. So you're kind of in a perfect spot. You get to see what the end of the storylines are looking like. You can choose a couple of people if you want. Uh, you can only choose one per night, but you can be here tonight and tomorrow and choose two people and just kind of see what they do, right? A little bit of a tutorial mode, a bit of a, an example or a beta test, so be it. And then uh, when we start the new season sometime next week... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever it will be, uh, you'll you'll actually get kind of you'll kind of be prepared and be ready if you so choose to participate. I hope that was good enough for explaining it. I mean, I used to have a command in my older channel that explained it, but I need to copy those over to this new channel now. So I'm upset that I didn't get it right. What would you prefer to be called? Uh, because I usually shorten people's names. 
so I'll probably just go with Aura if that's okay. So when does Season 3 start so I can pick some people lol? So that'll be sometimes next week, Monday, Tuesday, whenever. I can't guarantee Monday night, but most likely Monday night. So I can pick one person tonight? You can, absolutely, yes, as long as they're not already picking, uh, picked. And yeah, I'm kind of following along. I'm sure over time I'll pick it up. Yeah, yeah, like, I think a week of watching, like, three episodes of this, you'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, you could just call me Q, to be honest. Start of my name. Okay, so just Q? I'll, I'll confirm that. Just Q? Because that's how I read it. Yes, sir. Just Q. Oh, shit. It's Ronda Rousey. Okay. T-mode history time. This past WrestleMania, Ronda Rousey was able to choose any superstar of her choice to go for the Women's Tag Team Championships. She chose China, the ninth wonder of the world. They got absolutely demolished by man meat, Becky Lynch, and uh, Sarah Logan. And now China and Ronda Rousey are not friends. And clearly they have uh, issues in between themselves. China and Ronda Rousey, I'm gonna write that down. Pedigree, one, two, three, China wins in the first round. But she's got some issues with uh, Ronda Rousey. So this is how that works. Um, we, we watch the tournaments, right? People earn fantasy points if if their person wins the tournaments or wins titles. Um, if they go to the pay-per-view and they win points to the pay-per-view, they win points to the pay-per-view. So it's a fantasy game, but it's also kind of a universe mode, story-driven game, because that's something that happened at WrestleMania. I remembered it, and they're, they're having issues, so. I think they had issues a couple months ago as well in a team mode tournament. So Ronda Rousey in China, man, just not getting along here in team mode. Bailey taken on Mickey James in the final matchup of the first round. Here we go. I'm gonna update this real quick. Ba -ba -ba. And yes, you can choose anybody you so choose. Like, you can just start naming people is usually the best way to do this. And then I go into my records and I go, okay, this person is selected, this person's a free agent, this person's a good pick. Um, I will tell you that the Survivor Series pay-per-view right now, uh, we have Drew Gulak, who I believe is a free agent. We have Daniel Bryan, who's a free agent. is a championship first-round match. Making her way to the ring. Sorry, I was... I get distracted by the bait. Um... Bailey! I think Ultimate Warrior is a free agent. These are people who have Survivor Series matches. Um... Let's see here. Shelton Benjamin is in the main event of Team Edge versus Team Roman Reigns. He's a free agent. Bret Hart. Goldberg. They might be free agents. They might not be, but... Those could be somebody that you could take. Kevin Nash, I think, is a free agent. Going for the United States Team Championship against Eric, uh, the Viking Raider. I think Sheamus is a free agent. He has a title opportunity. Or if you want to just see some points tonight, you could choose any of these superstars. Um, Sasha Banks, I think might be a free agent. <laughs> See, I don't know. There's just so many people in, in my chat that chose for Season 3. Um, you would just have to shoot out a bunch of people's names, and I'd be like, okay, this person is a good pick because they have uh, story issues, and people who have story issues, like Ronda Rousey in China, are more likely to get booked than people who don't. Like, uh, I don't know, like... Like, uh, like, uh, Mia Yim. She doesn't have any storyline issues, so she's not going to get booked. T-Mode provides, right? It's just how it goes. Mickey James taking on Bailey. Mickey James earlier tonight was in a T-Mode tournament. She was not successful. Um, I think she got beat by Charlotte, who was the eventual winner of that tournament. Charlotte now a dual T-Mode champ, holding both top Raw Women's Championships. Uh, we treat these 
how we book these tournaments very much like the UFC, right? So just this title, this title, this title, this title, and we just book it very much like that. So once about every three or four weeks, the person is going to be defending their title. And it's probably closer to about once every two months. If, if there's no storyline thing that happens before then. Mickey James up, down. Bulldog takes down Bailey. Bailey was our longest running Team Mode champion, right? SmackDown Women's Team Mode Championship. She lost it, and now we have Daniel Bryan, the white belt Intercontinental Team Mode Champion, who is our longest running Team Mode Champion. Past that, I think it's AJ Styles with the classic NXT Team Mode Championship. And that happened at the very, very beginning of Team Mode. Really early on. Let's see, Bray Wyatt, I think his own. Samoa Joe, Drew McIntyre, I have him. Sheamus, Aleister Black, Keith Lee, any of the New Day, Seth Rollins, and the Street Profits. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking about people who are might be booked in Survivor Series, and I don't know about any of them. Um, but you definitely want a male superstar, is that correct? Because if so, after this tournament, what we do is we book the next tournament for the next show. That's typically how we do things. So it might be uh, the best to not choose right now and wait until this tournament's over to see who gets selected for the Million Dollar Teemo Championship that is happening tomorrow. We'll, we'll start with the Million Dollar Teemo Championship. We'll do the Divas Teemo Championship uh, for the SmackDown WCW brand. And then we will move on to the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Um, if you want, because this match is still going, I, let me let me quickly get a link and at least have a link for you guys. Because again, I used to have a a Twitter command or, or a Twitch command to do this. Um, yeah, I would I would wait for sure, but you can at least take a look at this link. It'll it'll take you. It'll take you there, and you can see all the people who have been selected, all of their fantasy points. You go over to the other tabs. You can see all the superstars and their stats. And then you go to the third tab. You can see all the titles that we have and um, all of the previous pay-per-views that we've done. Teemo History is in that link. At least the Season 2 bit of it. I had to hide season one. Elbow from the top rope. Mickey James is dominating in this matchup. Bailey hits the comeback. Bailey gonna go for it. Misses. Yo, but she gets it on the other side. Big shot to the gut. Bailey wobbling. Bailey goes for a big elbow in the corner. Takes down Mickey James. Gonna. She's got her with a signature. She might be looking for the. Does she do the exploder suplex into the corner? I think she does. She does. There it is. Down goes Mickey James. Bailey could go for the pin. Will it be for a win here? Going for the pin. And the win. One, two, three. She's got it. Bailey moves on. Wow. Bailey, China, Becky, Sasha. Whew. This is exciting as we move into the second round. That was a pretty clean matchup. Mickey James aging, getting a little bit older. Really hard to keep up with these young superstars. People like Charlotte, people like Bailey. Mad Dog 1992, thank you for the host. I appreciate that, man. Mad Dog, uh, another guy who we've seen quite a bit in our older, uh, our old Twitch uh, channel. Thank you for the host. I highly appreciate that. And all of the Mad Dog people, welcome. Uh, we're going to exit out. We're going to start the second round here. Angry Adam with the follow. Have a good night. Or have a good night. Jeez. See, my mind is on the fourth team mode tournament of the night. Mad Dog, if he was around uh, quite a bit, he knows that I haven't done more than two of these things in one night. We're on our fourth one tonight. So it's kind of history making. I'm, I'm losing my mind. 
Mad Dog and Angry Adam, welcome to the show. Do you ever do created wrestlers as long as they were in WWE? Uh, yes. So, for instance, like, especially because this year's game is going to be completely outdated by... I mean, it's already completely outdated, right? I do do created wrestlers. Like, I've got John Moxley. I've got people from New Japan. I've got people from um, AEW. I've got people... A few people from the indies. But mostly AEW, New Japan, WWE, and things like that. Um, so, yes, I do. Um people's created wrestlers not so much i'm not very good at making things up from scratch i'm very good at watching tv and then going i know what their character would do in my t mode so i can take their thing and make it work here but i can't take like something you would create and make it work here i would do something differently than what you would do so that's why i don't really do interactive mode because i find that i often take other people's creations and uh uh not do them the way that they wanted them done. So that's why I don't really dwell into that much. Um, thank you for the follow, Mad Dog. Appreciate it, man. Been a while. It has been a while, but but you came back. You, you came back, and uh, I appreciate it, man. Um, this is a new channel, so uh, thank you for following <laughs> again. I appreciate it. As I update this list here, and we'll move on to the second round. Here we go. Um, entrance is off for the second to speed up this process. Uh, I think I like this rule, right? I think I like this rule. Only first round we do entrances, and then in the finals we do entrances. Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch. Becky right away. Going with the suplex, wow. Going for a pin, wow. Is a little arrogant going for the pin. One, two, no. Sasha Banks, a newly minted Mandalorian. Will that boost her to a win over the man here tonight? Because if so, I'm trying to get, like, Matt Morgan. Well, oh, I don't have Matt Morgan. Um, I don't know. Is is Does Matt Morgan still wrestle? Or was he an old a, a TNA guy who retired? Yeah, I, I don't watch very much of the indie indies. Like, I don't watch TNA anymore. Or in, or uh, Impact, or Ring of Honor, or, uh, what, is, what is it? Like, the Scotland Wrestling, GCW, or whatever it is. Like, I don't watch very many of those, but I do watch New Japan, I do watch AEW, I do watch WWE. Well, I don't watch WWE. I, I follow WWE. I tolerate WWE. <laughs> Big attack here. Becky Lynch hits the comeback. She has a signature move. She's going to toss her up and over and out. We're up to seven followers tonight. Thank you so much. He was in TNA and in WWE both. He's a mayor now. Really? Mayor of what <laughs> county? <laughs> Where? Is he Matt Morgan? Where would Matt Morgan be from? I always thought he was Canadian. I think Matt Morgan's from... I think Matt Morgan is from Oklahoma. Going for the pin. One, two, kick out. I'm going to have to look that up. Now I'm intrigued. Q spitting knowledge in the chat right now. Going for the disarm her on Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has the resiliency. She's going to have to use it or she's going to tap. Oh, my God. Oh, she breaks out without resiliency. Oh, my God. Sasha Banks, the blueprint. The boss. Taking the fight to Becky Lynch, the SmackDown Women's Team O Champion. Going for the bank dropped. Is it enough to put Becky Lynch away? One, two, kick out Becky Lynch! Yo! We're getting loud. It's 2 o'clock. It's 2.30 in the morning. We're getting loud. We're flaring out. We're flaring out. Turns her around, bank statement time. And the bank statement is showing some bad news to Becky Lynch. Is she gonna tap out? She can't possibly hold on. It's so uncomfortable. Oh my God. She holds, she holds. Oh my Lord, she's gonna go to the top rope. Is she going for the elbow? 
The elbow drop usually ends matches like this. Big splash going to the Eddie Guerrero type. No way. Becky, well, I'm sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to contain. I don't want to wake my family up. They'll knock on my door real quick and tell me to shut the hell up. I'm trying to contain the flare. I'm trying to contain the flare. One night we had an epic match, Ric Flair versus Andre the Giant, and it was a it was a five-star match. Like Meltzer would have given it a five-star match. And I was flaring the fuck out. It was so good. And oh my god, this match is getting there. Going for the pin. One, two, real. Oh my god. Becky Lynch, two finishers, 90%. Sasha Banks at 44. We're trying to contain the flare as this match continues. Sasha Banks, homage to Eddie Guerrero. Is she going to try go, to go for it again? No, this time she does go for the elbow. She does go for the elbow. She's going to go to the top again. What a bad idea. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. High risk. Another elbow. Turns her around. She gets away with it. She gets away with it. Sasha Banks. Big boot. No good. Turns her around. Float over DDT. Flattening Banks. Sasha Banks. Might get hit here with a signature. No. Becky Lynch is going to toss her up and over and out. Yikes. Longwood, Florida. Ah, Florida was my second guess. I didn't think Florida because Florida was was like legitimately going to be my second guess because of how it, just he looks like a Floridian. But I went I went Southern. I went Southern. The big reason I didn't say Florida is because he isn't like completely strange. Like it seemingly everyone from Florida is is a crazy person seemingly. I'm here in, in, in vanilla, white bread, Utah. It's, it's like, like we hear of all these Florida stories like every freaking day, seemingly. It's the craziest shit. Oh, we're at eight. Ladies, ladies, ladies. They both get in just under ten. Sasha Banks trying to gain a signature. She's got it. She's got it. Oh, Becky Lynch catches. Rolls out the leg. Rolls her into the bottom corner. And she is going to taunt and likely end this matchup. She has three finishers here. What is the name of Becky Lynch's finisher? Before we freak out, because this match is probably over. Manhandle Slam. Oh, she went for it. It got reversed. Oh, my God. Such a base. Yo, this match is awesome. Knees to the face. Might have knocked the man out. Going for the pin and the win. One, two, kick out Lynch. Yo. This match is wild. Banks looking to take on the SmackDown Women's Champion and tap her out. Is her foot on the rope? Ooh, rope break. Rope break, and Becky Lynch's head is nearly all but destroyed. Sasha Banks gets caught. Manhand. Oh, no, not the manhand is slam. Just suplex. Just suplex. Becky Lynch with a signature now. Another suplex. My goodness. Is it? Is she gonna go for it? She's gonna go for it. Is she gonna try to drain the resiliency? One, two, resiliency. It's gone. It's gone. Becky Lynch, looking to end it now. Trying to be quiet. Trying not to flare the fuck out. Trying to keep my, my mood centered. <laughs> Manhandle slam takes down Sasha Banks. This is it. One, two, three, done. Becky Lynch wins. And Linger might be looking at another fantasy point to take the lead over Meet Me. Heading into Survivor Series tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, maybe. The man once again proving why she is called the man. Whew. What a match, my God. So Kane's the mayor of Knox County, right? 
Matt Morgan is the mayor of Longwood. Okay. As I start this uh, uh, next matchup here. Abyss is doing political stuff. Really? Um, all these big monsters are all professional. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so we start this match. I'm going to quickly update this uh, thing. What is Abyss doing? So I'm incredibly... Uh, I, I love politics. I, I know. It's weird. But I love it. Um, what is Abyss doing that's political? Again, you're just spitting knowledge in the chat. Stuff I don't know about. Sit out power bomb by China. 25% on Bailey. Bailey does have a comeback, though. I mean, one of these two women is going to face Becky Lynch in the finals for a fantasy point. I believe Bailey is owned. I think China is a free agent. Big shot. Bailey with a shot to the gut, staggering the ninth wonder of the world. Wobbly Bailey going in for the elbow. She's got it. Going to continue with a suplex. Bailey's got to finish her now, but she's going to go for the pin on the suplex. Is it enough? One, two, three. It is. Bailey moves on against Becky Lynch in the finals of this tournament. Let me take a look, actually, real quick. We've got Bailey, who is a free agent. No one owns Bailey. Ooh, okay. I did not know that. So Bailey is a free agent. Okay. All right. Free agent Bailey taking on Becky Lynch. All right, here we go. Final match of this tournament, Becky versus Bailey. Winner gets a fantasy point. Um, and if they're represented, Becky Lynch is represented by Linger. Linger will also get a fantasy point if Becky Lynch wins. And the winner will be taking on Paige, the NXT Women's Team O Champion, for the title. First DDT. Starting out this matchup, Becky Lynch going to be the first to hit the comeback. Will it be fruitful? Clothesline, clothesline, leg lariat. Becky Lynch now with a signature move, but she's going to try to go for a pin off of the comeback. Is it enough? One, two, it's a kick out by Bailey. It's relatively secret, like he doesn't speak much on it, but he did an interview once talking about it, uh, but no one actually knows what he's doing yet. He's just involved. Hmm, interesting. He seems like an interesting guy. Like, that's, if, if there could be a, a, a documentary about anybody from TNA, he's probably my number one pick. Because, like, we got the AJ Styles one with WWE, right? Like, I mean, I guess maybe Beer Money... Like, you know some of the early core people of TNA when it was really, really good? Manhandle slam. Down goes Bailey. This could be it. Going for the pin and the win. One, two. Oh, resiliency. Oh, wow. Kick out by Bailey. I thought it was over. But we're going to continue. Uh, yeah, like the people from TNA, it's like I think back and I go... I think Abyss was overall, like, my favorite. Like, Monster's Ball. Like, he he was so... He was so much... He reminded me so much of, like, uh... Like, Big Show, right? You always remember the Big Show. Even though he wasn't always in the main event, he was always memorable, right? Like, oh, I remember him doing that. Oh, yeah, I remember him doing that. You might not, not have always liked it, but... Big Shot here after the double axe handle. No good. But, like... His his Joseph Park is is hilariously amazing. Abyss was awesome. It's all good stuff. I would love to see a documentary on that one day. Bailey trying to work from behind here. Becky Lynch has a signature move. Takes one mistake, and Becky Lynch wins this matchup. Bailey needs a flawless. 
finish to this match. And there's that mistake. Becky Lynch now. Oh, she's too slow. She's too slow. She let that one slip her by, man. This is Becky Lynch's match to lose. She has all the advantages right now. Good reversal. Bailey, 93%. Picking her up in the fireman's carry position. Going to drag her and hang her up on that top rope. Signature move for Bailey, but she doesn't have enough energy to knock it. No good. Becky Lynch hits the exploder suplex. Is this enough? It could be. We might be looking at a winner in linger. One, two, kick out Bailey. A point is on the line. A shot at Paige's NXT Women's Team of Championship is on the line. Man, handle, slam, down goes Bailey. I think it's over. One, two, three, done. Becky Lynch, the man, represented in the chat by Linger, will be moving on to the finals. And he will take a one point lead over Meet Me in the standings. It has been a crazy night. Meet Meep earlier took the lead by two points. And uh, Linger's Edge matches it, ties it up again. And now Becky Lynch has an opportunity to move this lead up to two for himself. If he can get a Becky Lynch win in the main event. This is the final matchup of the night for WWE. And uh, I think we're going to be playing uh, Valhalla until four. So we got about an hour and a half of, of stream left. Um... Man, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. Becky Lynch Page, here we go. Here we go. Let's give Pay or uh, Becky Lynch her star. Oof, that's a gross, disgusting looking star. But what can you do? Um, 2008 to 2015, TNA was better than 2008 to 2015. Oh, oh, WWE. Okay, I was going to say I was like, those are the same years. But, um, cannot change my mind. I might agree with you. I might agree with you. The following contest is scheduled for... Changing to impact with TNA's downfall. Sorry, I almost missed the one fall. Um... But... CM Punk... <laughs> CM Punk. <laughs> That's all I have to say. CM Punk and the return of Brock Lesnar in 2012. Right? Like, those are the two things that I go... Yeah, those were really good. Like, when he came back and just messed with John Cena so much and was so dominant. And I think that's around the time that he broke, like, Undertaker's streak. Is that... Is that good enough? It's really close. It's really close. I think I agree with you. I think I enjoyed watching TNA overall more than watching like all of Raw and all of SmackDown and introducing the in that era. From Norwich, England, she is the NXT Women's Champion. I'd have to think back on it. I'd have to think a little bit more, but I think I agree with you. Paige is your NXT Women's Team O Champion, winning this championship, I think, in the Team O Tournament format. Now having an opportunity here to defend it against uh, Becky Lynch. Two former members of PCB. This legitimately is Paige's house. This is NXT. We're on an NXT brand right now. We are not on the SmackDown brand. Becky Lynch might be the man, but she ain't the man of this house. Paige is your reigning champion for the women of NXT. And Becky Lynch has stepped into her house. Now let's see how this matchup plays out. Becky Lynch might be walking out a dual women's team of champ. Becky Lynch ready to go, looking fired up. Champion. Uh, she's looking pretty confident. Looking pretty confident. Uh, 
Referee will present the title to the challenger. Will present the title to this COVID-friendly virtual crowd. COVID does not exist in their world, so they are completely safe. And this title opportunity, this main event of the evening, four hours and 45 minutes of streaming has led to this linger. Looking to extend his lead to two points and Page is gonna go for uh, across, a, one, uh, it's a, it's a, a guillotine, not a guillotine, it's a, it's a chokehold. Rear naked choke. Thank you, Brain. Four and a half hours of streaming. Paige acting quick. She is not taking this lightly. She knows how dangerous Becky Lynch can be. Look at her front face locks to, to keep the momentum. She's going to try to stop this comeback from even being a thing, which is exactly the right move. And I think she's done it successfully. A roar from Paige. And she's going to go for the pin on the challenger. One, two. It's a kick out. You make it the next thing before I, I am. Yes, yes, we do that before I get off. Mm -hmm. um, three important events versus lethal uh, lockdowns and suicide, beer money, abyss, Scott Steiner. Oh my god, Scott Steiner math, you're right. Yes, crazy Jeff Jarrett. Or, I mean, crazy Jeff Hardy when he was like in his own head. And he's like, like I don't know if you remember this promo. Maybe you do. But it was like in a six man matchup, okay? And it was like Kurt Angle. Uh, uh, Bully Ray and, and Jeff Hardy's like doing a monologue and, and you can hear his inner thoughts and he's walking down the hallway and he's looking at all of them individually and he's like Bully Ray he's a, he's a threat Mr. Anderson's an asshole <laughs> and then he like gets to Kurt Angle and he's like Kurt Angle's a machine and a cyborg still dangerous though <laughs> like, it was like really weird but it was awesome. Like, yeah, I remember those those things. You're right. There was a lot of good there. But that real that all that good, that CM Punk promo, and that six months. Oh, oh, Straight Edge Society, dude. CM Punk to me was like my idol for a, a long, long time. So it's it's tough. It's tough for me. But I but for the most part, I agree with you because I didn't really care for the women's division. Didn't really care for the cruiserweight division if they even had one back then. I can't even remember. Uh, the Intercontinental United States, okay, whatever. Like it flip flopped between Miz and Kofi and Miz and Kofi. But man, that main title was CM Punk and, and Jeff Hardy, like in 2008. Like, mm, mm. The rise of Daniel Bryan, the return of Lesnar. A lot of big things happened in WWE. But overall, the show. Not nearly as memorable. Paige with a signature here. Becky Lynch has done a lot of good work here. Getting the 90%. Taking Paige down to yellow. Going for the pin. 1-2, no. Paige now has a threat here. She's got Becky Lynch with not only a finisher, but a signature ready to go. And I say finisher because she's going to get that uh, ability really soon. Fisherman suplex. Becky Lynch gets back to her feet. That breaker takes her down. Paige screaming again. Signature moves for both of these women. Both of these champions. These Teemo champions. These warriors of the ring. Paige picks up Becky. Looking for a signature. She's going to get it here. Paige turn. She's got it. The Paige Turner takes down Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch uses her finishing special ability. But she's getting pinned. One, two... Three, it's useless. Page defends. Page defends. All right, so what beef did we have? We had... Here is your winner. Peyton Royce and Billy Kay and Lacey Evans and Sasha getting added to the women's Survivor Series matchup. Ronda and China have beef. So I think for our women's Survivor Series matchup, I think we're going to book this officially. It's going to be... Okay, it's going to be Charlotte teaming with the Iconics and Ronda Rousey to take on Ember Moon, Lacey Evans, Sasha Banks, 
in China. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That is a women's Survivor Series matchup that we will have tomorrow night. Um, so I'm just going to kind of circle all of those individuals. Um, we are going to have... I, I kind of want a, a, a fatal four-way for the white Intercontinental Team Out Championship. Drew Gulak, Daniel Bryan, Sheamus, and Finn Balor um, all facing off in a fatal four-way matchup for the Intercontinental Team Out Championship. Dash Wilder, my guy, gets a title opportunity of his choosing. Um, and I think I'm going to hold on to that title opportunity. I do have to defend my Million Dollar Championship. If I lose it tomorrow in, in, the, match, in, in the tournament we're about to book, then I want to have that title opportunity to, to get a rematch. That's what I want to use it for. Um, the Million Dollar Championship is an incredibly important championship to hold on to. Every point you earn as the Million Dollar Champion doubles. So I desperately need that to even have a chance at winning or, or catching up to Linger or um, Meet Meep. Uh, Linger is only going to get one fantasy point. Um, but real quick, let's, uh, let's set this up. Let's set this up. It is for the Million Dollar Team O Championship, and it is going to be on a SmackDown WCW show. Um, let's just go with number five. I don't remember what number five is, but let's go with it. Here we go. All right, any people we need to eliminate right off the bat? I don't think so. Um, I think Tommaso Ciampa. Ooh, maybe, 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 maybe not. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so we have Rusev and... Murphy. So let's take a look. Rusev is good to go. Buddy Murphy is good to go. Okay. Uh, Nakamura and Goldberg. Nakamura is good to go. Oh, God damn it! Why do you do this to me, game? Or computer. Goldberg is making his debut. He's also going to be in a Survivor Series matchup, so this could be really, really good for him. Um, he'll be making his debut. That's interesting. Okay. Um, Bray Wyatt, who I think needs to be re-rolled because I think we have The Fiend as one of our people, and then Swamp Father. So let's see here. Um, Swamp Father is a different entity, so he is good to go in, unless he has three tournaments. I don't think he does, but maybe he does. We'll, we'll check. Um, I think The Fiend is the one selected. He is, so Bray Wyatt does need to be re-rolled. Um, and then let's check Swamp Father real quick. And Swamp Father is okay. Okay, so we need to re-roll Bray Wyatt. Unleashed Orton, yo! I wish it was normal Orton, but I mean, this is the last season we will be seeing the Undead Army, Swamp Father, Unleashed Orton, uh, Demon King Balor, Frankenstrom, and these people will be going away after this season. So, yeah, let's give them an opportunity to at least put some points on the board and leave a legacy uh, wh when they go because we need to make room for some more New Japan talent, new AEW talent, maybe Matt Morgan, the, the Longwood Mayor, right? So, perhaps. All right, let's take a look at uh, Unleashed Jordan. Let's see. I think he is making his debut, so he is good to go as well. Tommaso Ciampa and The Miz. Let's take a look. Ciampa is at three, but let's take a look at The Miz. And Miz is at three. Okay, I don't think anyone owns The Miz, but let's see. I think somebody owns Ciampa. Oh, somebody does own Miz. Bolts fan owns Miz, so Miz is good to go. Ciampa. Oppo EX owns Ciampa, so Ciampa is good to go. So those are... This is your final lineup. Um... Now, let me see who is available. We have Rusev, Mercy, Murphy, Nakamura, Goldberg. All right, let me let me take a look at my at my list here. We have Rusev. Rusev is available. Murphy. Okay, Murphy is not available. Goldberg is not available. And uh, Nakamura, who is not available. Okay, so the only person so far is Rusev. Uh, Swamp Father and Unleashed Orton. All right, let's take a look. Swamp Father is available, and he has a title match at Survivor Series tomorrow night. So, I mean, he could—he's probably your best bet right now. 
and Unleashed Orton is also available. So you have the choice of these people in the tournament tomorrow um, for the million dollar title. Unleashed Orton, Swamp Father, or Rusev. Everybody else is selected by somebody in our chat, which is crazy because this is a pretty good percentage. Um, I own Dash Wilder, so that's what you're looking at um, tomorrow. Or you can choose um, any of the people who I've I've put into a Survivor Series match or whatever. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. X Division matches. TNA carried wrestling those years. That's yes, true. Oh, I think you're talking about the Willow gimmick. Really? He he talked normal in the Willow gimmick. No, I thought this was just normal Jeff Hardy, and then he turned into Willow. I remember Willow the Wisp. If I pick Swamp Father and he won't be in next season, do I repick for next season? Yes. So everybody who, so all these people who are selected, like Nakamura and Goldberg, this gets wiped away after tomorrow night. When the season is over, it goes, it's gone. Um, and I and I told people this is going to be the season when they, there are no exemptions. The only person who gets to hold on to uh, three of their superstars is going to be the person who uh, actually I think winning the I think winning the season only nets you one exemption token, but that's the only one I'm handing out this season. Um, that's it. So whoever wins the season gets to hold on to one of their superstars. Um, everybody else, everything gets wiped away, and it's like a draft, right? So every season, the first night back, everybody comes in and goes, "I want this person." Like it's like really, really competitive. Um, especially with like what the storylines are happening and, and it, it's, it's just really super fun. So yeah, it, I mean, it's really of no cost to you. Um, there's no way you're getting 16 points. So yeah, like Swamp Father's going away. Um, and you would just have to be here Monday when we start the new season and be like, oh, hey, I want this person, right? You just, you get one per night. That's how the draft works, right? To, to even it out. And uh, it should be, a, it should be a good time. It should be a good time. Um, so yeah, picking Swamp Father I think is your best bet because he could win this tournament and get two fantasy points. He could hold the million dollar championship at Survivor Series because if he does win, I'm going to have Wilder challenge him again for the title. And let's say he wins at Survivor Series for the title. He would have to do two. He, and he also has another match. So he has the, uh, the propensity of getting five points plus holding two championships so he could have, I mean, you could have seven points, realistically, is your max by tomorrow night, if you play it correct. Maybe even more, depending on the million dollar championship rule, because every one point you get as million dollar champion gets doubled. Every one point becomes two, every two points become four. So I think Swamp Father, if he wins this tournament, I mean, could give you a lot of points. Monday is tomorrow. Well, tonight is Saturday still for me. I haven't gone to bed yet, but that's true. You're 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 absolutely right. Um, tomorrow, I mean, like after the Survivor Series pay per view. I think that's your best bet, Q. I I think that's the best bet. So Swamp Father is off the board, and I'm gonna add you into the list. Mm -hmm. 